So we're in Honolulu. We're heading to Seattle, Washington to start our Wild West road trip. Two oyster shooters! Two oyster shooters! <laughs> Holy shit. Ready to go for a spin? Oh my god! <laughs> the Yellowstone Bison Jam. Oh my god, Speed race over here. <laughs> so we made it to uh, Jackson, Jackson Hole. Jackson Hole! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! This is a construction worker. <laughs> with, a, <laughs> with a cowboy. <laughs> a cowboy hot hat. You can't be for him when I'm filming. Uh, yeah, was <laughs> oh. he smoking a cigarette? Yeah, he was. Either that or he had some hay in his mouth. <laughs> Side by a house. <laughs> by a barn. Oh my god. We're in the country, Bess. We are in the country. Maybe I'll gas up here. Up to you? Yeah. Well, look at that it's, little. Look Whoa. At that. Well, look at these trucks. There's a Sierra. What is that? I think that's. Whoa, well, look at this place. What is it? The gas station. Where even are we? I don't know. It's beautiful. Silver Creek. Oh. I took my belt off and I look like a... I just didn't move it. <laughs> Save a horse, ride a cowboy. <laughs> Come on, train. <laughs> Come on, train. <laughs> this sap, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, we can't oh, get the sap this, off yeah, the window. Yeah, sap. Oh. Don't scratch it, you blowing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> 1.39 for the rocking chairs. It's a nice piece of outdoor furniture. He's looking for a scraper for a sap for removal. I reckon well, one of they don't, bad they don't make What about a, a spec? They don't make a scooper for sap. <laughs> Why? I think this. It's clearly a problem. Oh, there's this one, 12 inch floor and wall scraper? No, that's a good thing. That's all we need. Oh, so Mini small. glass scraper. Oh, nice. Here he comes with his glass razor blade. Oh my god, that sound. I think we left it baked on a little too long. Jason just went to get some white vinegar. We did a Google. Apparently that's what gets tree sap off. Uh, the scraper, <laughs> the scraper is a is a no go. Bit um, of a hazard. Yeah, it's just I don't want to scrape the window and it's not getting off. It's just smearing it. So we see a little tiny scrape on there. We're gonna yeah not go any further with the scraper. 
I'm just gonna keep applying it. These cookies were two dollars and fifty cents. Cranberry and oatmeal, and you get two. Very tasty. Uh oh, doesn't seem to be working. All right. So the napkin wasn't working, so he got two of my stinky socks out of the, <laughs> out of the wash. <laughs> and now he's going to dry that. Because it said use a microfiber, but we don't have that, obviously. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Okay, final result. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. So we're pulling out of the general store here. The vinegar did work. We got most of the sample. We stink. We didn't, we didn't get all of it, but we got most of it. Um, but yeah, I guess that was our first stop in a general store to actually like go get supplies and like gas up and stuff like that. And man, I get it now. General store. It's basically like a supermarket. They, yeah, they have a little bit of everything. And uh, the produce in there looked really good. Better than what we can get in Hawaii, to be honest with you. We're in the middle of nowhere, so. How's your cookie? delicious so good that general store it shits all over all the other ones we've been to all right so we're just coming off this road up here which is i forget what we were on 226 west and we're just gonna pop down here this overlook because it looks like you can see the river oh shit oh i thought those were i thought those were black bear <laughs> wow What a pretty river, so clear. I can yeah. see down to the bottom. Yeah. You hear that sound? Yeah. What is that? I think that's an eagle or an osprey. Let me go and find it. Really cool pull off. I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. That's an eagle. See the white tail? Wow, I haven't seen one this trip. Oh man, wow. bald eagle. Wow. I swear, some of these animals see people and they're like, oh yeah, I'll put it on this show. Yeah. It's crazy because I, I knew that sound from watching uh, Nat, Nat Geo, that call. Look at his feet down too, see how big he is? Yeah. Oh, he's swooping. I wish we could see. That was definitely a bald eagle. That was so cool. <laughs> I love when we like, just decide to pull off somewhere for like a second and then it winds up being like a wildlife spotting yeah. and so we might have seen some eagles this trip like in the distance but i didn't see any like come through close up like that or hear them do that so that was yeah that was pretty cool all right so check this out so this is a uh, looks like an old pepsi machine for sale two old pepsi machines make sure off the road and it looks like this guy does restoration he's up there Cute. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, he's out there storing something. <laughs> All right, so we're in downtown, what are we, Idaho Falls. Idaho Falls. Yeah, and we're just checking it out over here. Uh, grab a couple of items and then we'll get back on the road. And we're thinking, we kind of had a change of plans. So we're thinking we might stop at a casino on the way to Salt Lake City, just cause can't gamble in Hawaii, can't gamble in Utah. So while we're still in Idaho, Maybe have a quick little gamble. Scratch the itch. Oh yeah, we're right here. Idaho Falls. All right, stretch our legs. Got to see Idaho Falls, really pretty. And uh, we were gonna get something here, like undies, but I think we're just gonna flip them inside out, <laughs> head to the casino. <laughs> On the move. Biggest oh. flag ever. Oh my God. American road trip. That is nice. Speed limit in Idaho, 80, love it. I'm having a white knuckle ride, guys. <laughs> it's airplane wings. Oh. Is it? That's like either, exactly it's either airplane it like. wings or it's like for a turbine. Oh, probably for the turbine. Out of nowhere, a giant building appears. Mm. 
What do you think this is? It could only be one thing. <laughs> Yeah, so we wanted to gamble here in Idaho because in Utah, gambling is illegal and, Hawaii. and in Hawaii. So we, we just wanted to scratch the itch. Before um, we go home. Yeah, but if you do like the gambling stuff and the casino stuff, we have a whole separate YouTube channel dedicated yeah. to all Vegas stuff. We do a lot of like slot play on there. It's called um, The Coin Show. We'll leave the link below. Yeah, it's called The Coin Show. And again, if you like that casino stuff, that's where to go. But for this one, because it's on a road trip, we're just gonna go have our own session, enjoy, and uh, we'll let you know the outcome. Feels like a storm is coming. A storm, a, storm. a storm, yeah, a dollar storm just happened in there because we took out 200 each. Uh, we're leaving with a thousand. And what's awesome was, that was the first time we've gone to a casino in a very long time. And we didn't pull out the camera or anything, we just like, I mean, we did a little. We did a little, yeah. We could resist. There was a couple, yeah. There was a couple wins we got that were really exciting. A nice hit. Sixty bucks in. We're lucky in here. Nice, babe. We're killing it in here. So that's Kaylee's first 60 in. 270. Nice, babe. Zoom. <laughs> first 500. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is my so, first 60, which has been climbing up. So I'm going to cast this one out. On our Vegas channel, anything over 500 we keep. So that's the rule. So you have to keep it. Happy to? Yeah, that was like, that was on a $10 <laughs> yeah. bet. Oh, Kaylee on a $6 bet. 308 buckaroos. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. We got a thousand bucks. Nice. <laughs> Kaylee was betting six dollars on Buffalo. Which is, uh, yeah, that was awesome. But we brought 400 in and we took 1,000 out. So. Yeah, we did 200 each and uh, we're leaving with 1,000, which yeah. is awesome. That'll help pay for some Something. of the expenses of the, to the trip. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great, great casino in there. It was clean. Yeah, it was clean and Th nice. There is smoking, but it's in like a separate room. Yeah, and um, they had like a beverage center where you can like pour your own drinks, but no alcohol. So. Yep. Yeah, but it was we, nice though. a nice change and a nice stop. It was just, we just wanted to stop somewhere, stretch our legs. Yeah. We figured what better spot than a casino a clean restroom. and uh, 600 bucks up. So two hours and 30 minutes to Salt Lake City. Yep. Back on the road. Can you not? Just, I am being 
so serious. Just in the distance. I'm already so scared. And maybe it just picks up one cow. Well, if it can pick up a cow, it can pick up a car. Drink selection here. Just gonna grab a coffee. Oh, nice. Grab a coffee for the road, and I know Kaylee's gonna grab some. <laughs> it's a good ass cup of coffee right there. Alright, so got a little Colombian coffee. They actually had a nice um, little coffee selection and like drink selection in there. Uh, Kaylee went with the Hawaiian, Hawaiian slice. I, I would have usually just gone for cheese, but it still looks pretty looks good. Right. And we got two waters, and I had to get one of these because I haven't yet had one on the trip. So this is a maple bar, and apparently these are a big hit around these parts. Delicious. I'll try. Delicious. Ten out of ten. Welcome to Utah. Welcome to Utah. Our first time. Yeah. Shackled by lust. Are you shackled by lust? Me? Don't worry. Jesus said it's free. There's a lot of green and a lot of churches around these parts. Yeah, look. Is that a church? If that's a church, no, no, that's, that's got to be green as well. Or green. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
Now Utah already has grain. <laughs> what the fuck? Mr. Car Wash, free rack ups. Oh, there's a dude and everything. Oh, look at this, fancy. Whoa, look at that backdrop. Beautiful. Free car wash. Alright, let's figure out how this works. Oh, we are not an unlimited member. Hey, what's going on? How are we doing? Good, how are you? See, it's a rental, so the cheapest you got. Oh, hey, yeah, make them pay for the good stuff. <laughs> okay, you're looking at 10 bucks even today, Perfect. man. Alright. And hey, we got a winner. You gonna Perfect. want that receipt? Yes, please. Okay, let me grab that for you. Right. You guys are all plugged in. All right. <laughs> this is it. Oh my God, this is dead in here too. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It is. Yeah. This is Mr. Car Wash. Truck beds must be empty. I'm free of debris. They have a free vacuum station. Should we actually do that as well? This is the most intense. Are he's spraying us. This is the most intense car wash I think I've ever been. Yeah. Oh my god, I've never done this before. <laughs> and usually you have to drive through, right? Well, this is a good one. Hopefully everything's close. Oh, steep! Yeah. Whoa, look at these jets. Looks like an organ. An organ? <laughs> This is not how I thought we'd be spending our final <laughs> night. I'm loving this Mr. Car Wash. It's so good. I wish we had this at home. Yeah, this is all free. And they have two vacuums. As you can see, by us. <laughs> we said we weren't going to go above and beyond, but now we're it's like... We had cleaning supply in the car, but we don't want to throw it away, so we just like use the whole bottle. <laughs> this is all free. So you got these guys. These guys. Then you got this. Like high pressure air. Going yeah, this, to is, this is probably the best car wash I've ever been to. That was ten dollars. Ten dollars, and we should we could have done like a way crazier one. Huh? Looking pretty good. Yeah, good to go. I know most people are like, you guys are crazy for uh, wasting wasting your, your time cleaning the rental car, but. Uh, two weeks in this thing, it got really, really bad. When you give them the car back after you've been off roading, and it's kind of like <laughs> literally off roading. Got, got mud and. The windows all nasty with sap and stuff like that. I feel like you're kind of leaving yourself open to get charged for something stupid. So we figured we'd just clean it up, make it pretty, give it back to them, and uh, good to go. So this NPS up here, which is right next to Mr. Car Wash, I've never been in one of these, but it says grocery, electric, clothing, and furniture. We do need undies. We do need undies. I don't know if they're gonna have it. If not, there's a big five sporting goods next yeah. door. I also don't know if these places are open, no, so. It's 7.30, let's see. This place is massive. All right, let's go find some undies. <laughs> you just look so funny. <laughs> Why am I dead? It's like the start of the road trip versus the end of the road trip. <laughs> <laughs> Still look really nice. Oh wow. <laughs> so every item in the store it seems is 70% off. But Kaylee's not feeling it, so restrooms and then we'll hit the next one. Big five. See you inside. Let's see if they got some underwear. I mean, they got guns over there. And fishing rods. We're gonna try Target next. No women's undies in there. They had men's undies, but no women's undies. One, two, three. Oh, they yeah. close at... Oh, don't sorry. you dare. They close at 10 p.m. No oh, rush. Sorry. Super Target. Well, I've never been to a Super Target before. <laughs> I'm screaming to the time. Yeah, you <laughs> do. It's nuts. <laughs> All right, we have entered Super Target. Goal is 10 minutes. This is not the Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, look how big it is goes all the way down there. Wow. This target is insanity. Kaylee, how big is this place? It's huge. It's huge. It's 
it's massive in here. This is huge. All right, we're looking for luggage. We need something to put all of our dirty clothes into because we didn't do any laundry for the past six days. And then we'll get on the road. So I'm not the shop. I know. I'm like, oh, look at this lamp. We're in a super target and there's like five people in here. Oh, here's luggage. Perfect. Oh, we can even get one of these. Roller. Look at this. There's no one here. You want to get a roller? Undies. Check. Check. Undies. <laughs> I don't see my hand We're just getting this bag. It's like a weekend bag, cheap one. On the move. I think that was our best Target experience we've ever had. And I love Target. Yeah. And they have um, something we haven't seen in a while. You can, they have bags. So you get like, you don't have to ask for bags or pay for bags. So that was cool. Man. With that mountain man. in the With background. The and the flag. Majestic. Oh, man. Gorge. So we've been in Utah now for about, I don't know, 30 minutes? Yeah. Maybe 40 minutes? Probably, um, I know. So the, the first impressions, so they love their car washes yeah. <laughs> because they have the best, biggest, badass car washes. And I mean, dual action vacuums, high pressure air to like spray everything down. It's just like... We've just been really jealous of everything they have so far. Super targets. The like super target? Yeah. Places that are open the until super 10 target with no one in it? Yeah, sick. That's pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah, we're just getting in. So we're about 30 minutes from the Grand America Hotel. Yeah. And we're really excited for this one. Um, it's really just a stopover, but I think it's going to be a good one. Yes. I think tonight's going to be amazing. I think we're going to have an amazing view of the city, and the room's going to be 10 out of 10. So, I think so, too. We'll see you over there. You're gonna be like, what the heck? You yeah. have seven bags for one night. Look at this car. Mm mm. Yeah. Clean again. Where did you guys come in from? Uh, so we're on a road trip. We started in Seattle. Yeah, last night was. Uh, where were we last night? I can't even keep up. Oh, we were at uh, Jackson, Jackson Hole. Hole. Oh, yep. Bags check. Car check. Feel, this feels like Vegas a bit. It does. Fancy. Yeah. Look at the brollies. Okay, 1767, the Grand America Hotel in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. Uh, so Bellman just dropped our stuff. We turned the lights on in there. We've also just been on a six hour car ride, so yeah. please, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, and this is gonna be kind of our first, we've, we've seen it a little just getting the lights on, but this will be our first kind of yeah. swan yeah. around. All right, first, let's see this. Is it an adjoining room? What is it? Closet. Oh, Ooh, with an iron? Yep. Some hangers, ironing board. Nice. That's about yep. it. It's big though. It is big. 
Okay. It's like AC on the wall. Okay. Uh, the most beautiful lamps and curtains I've ever seen. Wow. Let me put these down. This is, oh, a mini bar. Was there a price guide? I think it, that's this. Wow, that's good. Chips, candy, gourmet offerings. Oh, that's not bad. Still on the spot. Yeah, I mean, for yeah, room. Not bad. Room service prices, not bad. And this, oh, what's that? Ooh, oh, ice. ice bucket. Nice slide out. Yeah. I always think these look like chicken feet. Yeah. <laughs> nice desk over here with a bin in the corner. That is a nice writing desk. Empty Ooh, drawers. Fancy. You know what else That pen's noticed? coming with us. They have a lot of outlets. Which it's been hard to find on this trip. For yeah, some it has. But check out those curtains. The curtains are so good. I thought they were so ugly in the pictures online, but in real life, I promise they're so nice. Yeah, and the they're chairs like, in here. They're almost like, I don't know, they're just really nice. Yeah, and the sofa, really nice touch. Yes. All right, so that is, what do you call this? The living room? Yep. Ooh. Doors. What? Is <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this bed looks nice. This nice is and so cool. thick mattress. All right, this way first? Yeah. We are not going outside yet. We got to save that for the end because yeah. I can tell just looking through the curtains, we got a killer view. Nice size TV this in here. This chair is massive and yeah, amazing. That is nice. This is like freaking bone or something. How nice is that? Yeah, it's like crystal. Oh my goodness. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay. And then you have one of those with your USB outlets and alarm clock. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what I don't, yeah, I, I don't want to look to my right yet. Oh I want to be surprised. All right, so we have Keurig with Grand America branded thingies. This is coffee and tea condiment kit. What does that mean? Should I open one? Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a squeeze. Oh, it's like all your bits. Oh, that's cool. Sugar, I like that. Yeah. creamer, sticks. And then you have regular and decaf coffee pods. Okay. Whoa. Extra now that's a closet. Look at those robes. So extra pillows, blankets. Yep. We have three of these. Oh, nice. I love it when they give us two, so three <laughs> is like crazy. All right, I gotta see these robes. They look really nice. Oh my goodness. Wow. Nice. They get the logo. Oh, oh wow. wow. Fancy. So fancy. I love it when they have that towel inside. Yeah. Oh, and they look big. Yeah. They might actually fit you. Yeah. <laughs> Steamer. Steamer. Some slips. Some slips. Well, I'll check safe. those out later. Wow, that's a nice safe. Cool. Yeah, it looks like you close it with a credit card. Remember those? Yep. Old school. I wonder if these are branded. Let's, Let's check them out. Probably not, but <gasps> they are. Oh. I wonder if we can keep these. All right, so she's got her door in the bathroom. Well, no. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, man. Oh, right. man, this is nice. Side first, I reckon. Yeah. Okay, cool. Someone to hang your towel, yep. which is very important. Let me just yeah. make sure. Oh man. We'll give that one about a 8.5, possibly a nine. I'll let you know after we do it. What do we got over there? Shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. Okay, and Flores, uh, London. Flores is the brand on those. I don't know if that's how you say it. But... Okay, beautiful shower. Uh, bathtub. Yep, we'll be jumping in there for sure. This opens, just storage. Okay. A bin, a scale, which we will not be no, stepping on. No, I'm not on. touching that thing. Um, <laughs> a hairdryer. Okay, towels down there. Sink. Um, luxury soap. What is it? Shower hat and vanity set. Body lotion. Um, makeup removal wipes. Nice. Everybody's doing that now. Yeah. That just. That's like, also. I've thing. never seen a tissue tip like that. That's pretty sweet. Pretty fancy. I would say. Alright, and here is... Oh, so you got a double door for your bathroom. Alright. Yeah, nice lift. Double roll? No, single roll, but they gave us two. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that door. <laughs> Alright, welcome to my view. <laughs> oh my god, it's like Paris or something. Oh my god, we got the biggest balcony. Whoa. Oh my god, look at that church. Sorry, I'm just... This is insane. There is snowy mountains. Look at that church. That church is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You know, I'd rather see it from here than the street. Yeah. I think this is a better view. Wow. Oh, oh my God, look down here. Wow. 
This place this is incredible. Is beautiful. That church is so magnificent. Happy? So happy. <laughs> I think we should sample the room service and like get in the tub and just not leave the room. Yeah, so like seriously. I yeah, we're we're kinda thinking like we don't want to waste this tonight. We yeah. want to, you know, we really want to enjoy it. And this is just kind of our stopover. Beautiful. Reminds me of Adelaide. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And look at that. If you look, there's another church back there. Yeah. All right, let's get situated and we'll decide what we're going to do. Okay. Man, what a room, what a view. Salt Lake City. This is one of the best rooms we've ever had. And I think we've said that quite a few times. <laughs> I think we've said that quite a few times this trip. Yeah. But yeah, we're not leaving this room tonight. Um, there's so much to explore in this hotel. But I think what I, we're going to do is order in and see what like their restaurants have to offer. We're probably going to get way too much like we always do. They have 24-hour dining in room. Yep. 24-hour in-room dining. Um, but yeah, after the road trip today, the, the six hours on the road, we're ready to just chill, relax, take it all in, take a bath. Uh, sort our stuff and then what I think I'm gonna do tomorrow is probably get up at a decent time because we don't fly out until noon and swan around the hotel and just kind of check it out so we're gonna get some food we're gonna get comfy we're gonna get in those robes we're gonna put on those slips and we're gonna relax <laughs> all right so after two weeks on the road I just emptied out my little uh, like crossbody bag and all of this stuff was in there from today $1,000 and just like an absolute mess it is disgusting <laughs> i don't even know how any of this fit in there so i was just gonna say if anyone gets travel sickness these were like my number one i wore these every single day i look so dumb in every single picture it looks like i'm going for like a sports run but it's for my car sickness <laughs> and then this which i got from amazon whoa look how bright and dirty it is it's a little makeup mirror but when you only have one bathroom or one mirror in the um, restroom, in your hotel room, this was perfect for like doing makeup or plucking your eyebrows when the other person is in the loo. Okay, me again. Sorry, I found one more thing that I could not live without on this trip. These are the best eye drops ever I that I've ever used. The best ever. Yeah, he can confirm. If you look like a little bit red in the eyes or tired or sleepy, these just make you look like bright eyed and bushy, bushy tails. They are much better than Visine, I will tell you, because I use a lot of Visine. That is, that is 10 times better. Yeah. I'm not BSing. They actually make your eyes better. They really do. It's like double the price of Visine, but 100% worth it. All right, just waiting to hear the knock on the door for some food. Then we're going to watch some, what are, we, what are we watching tonight? Shark Tank? Shark Tank, I reckon. <laughs> then we can get any business ideas. Yeah. Alrighty. Room service has arrived. And they brought us bread and butter, which we didn't even ask for. Let's see what we got. Nine. Literally 9.59. They close at 10. For all, so, so they're open 24 hours, but they do in-room dining menu like all day. And then they switch to like a late night menu. So we hit the we hit the all day dining. It was so damn good. The I sauce was perfect. I Kay agree. Kaylee said she wasn't that hungry and that rigatoni was packed high and it's like she's almost done with it. Um, the shrimp cocktail, shrimp was, cocktail big, was so huge, good. Beautiful. Uh, the beef short rib. Outstanding. It I'm just saying, fell apart. Meatballs, the sauce, everything. Everything's good. We haven't gotten the dessert yet, but it was just what we needed. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready? Getting ready. Getting ready for some Roman? Oh my God. <laughs> <gasps> we have to get in that, Yui. <laughs> oh my God. Way to ruin the bath. 
Alrighty, good morning. I got some terrible coffee made. But check this out in the morning. Wow. Wow. Nice and quiet this morning. Check out this clock. Toy store? Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Look at the candy back there. Wow. What a place. All right, on the move. <laughs> well, that's pretty impressive. It looks like a meeting's gonna happen here. All right, we gotta check outside. <laughs> Look at these, fancy. Wow. Little deer family. So those rooms, with the kind of extended balcony, the white ones. Those are the ones we're staying in. We're on the 17th floor. This is one of the prettiest hotels I've ever stayed in. Right, let's keep swanning around. and nice warm oh man it's super flaky ham and cheese croissant and I just went with the regular with a kind of glaze on it wow so if you come to Salt Lake City and you stay at the Grand America you do not have to step foot off the property it is outstanding yeah, over here. Cool, but yeah it was a hell of a trip the uh, the start in Seattle um, it, we had mixed feelings about it when we got there, and by the time we left, we were like, man, that was awesome. Yeah. We will we will certainly be back to Seattle. Best at, food, I would say. Yeah, Elliot's uh, Oyster Bar there it's on the really water. Good. Awesome. The, the oysters in Seattle were some of the best I've ever had. Yep. Um, their coffee, the coffee oh in Washington. God, coffee, it destroyed me for the rest of the trip, because everywhere we went, I was like, oh, it's not as good as Seattle. Yeah, we kept trying to find that, like, we had that alchemy coffee, and yeah. we couldn't find anything like it. That was, that was the best coffee of the trip. Leaving Seattle was, where we had next? Leavenworth, um, staying at the Post Hotel. What a cool place. Um, can't recommend that one enough. You gotta yeah. go, you gotta go see that one. And but you, I would say you have to stay at the You that gotta hotel. stay at the Post Hotel. That the, was. The problem with that place was we wanted to be out of the hotel because the town was so cute, but we didn't want to leave the hotel because it was so nice. Yes, the po the post man, something else. So doing the, doing all the spa treatments and then just being like able to sw in yep, swim in the pool. You check in, get in your robe, don't take it off until you leave. Yeah. Nothing like it. 
food there was amazing. Yeah. Uh, service was top notch. And the town is great too. Uh, I remember we went to that one place to have the potatoes. Yeah. What do you remember? Yodel Inn, I think. Uh, the Yodel Inn. I would love to go back there and have an actual dinner. Yeah, um, that place was so beautiful. So beautiful, awesome view. Yeah, Leavenworth, again, second 10 out of 10 spot we went to. Yeah. Uh, then Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, something else. The, the ferry we did over there, the little, like, a ferry around the lake, yeah. looking at all those million dollar homes and moon time was like the best food we had all trip yes moon time Still, moon time food. was the was the highlight of Coeur d'Alene so, for so, food so good. but the lake was yeah the lake was incredible that was probably my most memorable body of water of the trip was that that lake in Coeur d'Alene the resort and the view looking over yeah just it, just an incredible place really good. um but yeah Coeur d'Alene Another 10 out of 10. Yep. On to Three Forks, Montana. It was so good to see Finally my mom. Got yeah. to meet your Kaylee got to meet my mom, who <clears throat> my mom absolutely loved Kaylee. Uh, it was great seeing Peter. My sisters surprised me by yeah. coming out. So good to see my family. It's been about six years since I've seen any of them. So that we had was. some really good dinners, and I shot a gun and I got nine <laughs> yeah. out of 10, guys. Yeah, so that was. I'm not gonna lie. I probably said this already, but watching Kaylee shoot, I got a little emotional because I was like, I was like, I never thought I would see Kaylee shoot a gun, and she did so good. Um, and watching my mom like teach her, and it was really cool. That was that was something special for me. Great, great vacation over to Three Forks. From there, Peter, my mom, and the two of us headed to Yellowstone. The time we chose to go in the summer, like early summer, it was just all the animals had their babies out it was green yeah the rain like i i know it's like oh if there's rain it's not going to be as good you want it to be sunny i think the rain really played a part in like what we got to see yeah it i, I feel like the I'll rain brings the them out yeah. the rain brings out so if you're a fisherman the rain brings out the fish it yeah. also brings out the animals because once it started raining to see three different bear sightings in one day and this wasn't just three bears this was the black bear, the yeah. brown bear, and then the grizzly bear to like top to it off. Animal babies, and it did not disappoint. Yeah, we, we saw baby everything. Baby we saw baby everything. Yeah. Baby elk. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit life changing. It was pretty good. It was a bit eye opening just to see like what's actually out there and how how crazy the wilderness is out yeah. west. It was wild. Now I would not stay at the Old Faithful Inn again, but I would stay at Lake Yellowstone again. Yes. So the Old Faithful Inn. I still, I'm glad we stayed there because yeah, it, it was very, really cool. And that bison in the morning. You could like touch it, it was so close. It came so close to us. We were standing on the staircase there and you could reach out and touch yeah. it. I, I'm really glad we stayed there because we wouldn't have got that experience. Me too. Just saying I wouldn't stay again. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, Lake Yellowstone, yes, I would definitely. I, I feel like Lake good. Yellowstone might be the spot in Yellowstone National Park to stay just yeah. because they did everything right. We had a really good stay there. But we're gonna start looking at stuff like the Jenny Lake cabins. So leaving Yellowstone, yeah. getting into the Tetons, and then staying at Jenny Lake. Probably. It was like the best day. Honestly, if we had Jenny Lake, the the hotel lodges In inside Yellowstone. Yellowstone, it would have been like. Yes. Cra I would have died. Yes. I think. Yes, that would have been. It was insane. But. I, I didn't enjoy the Teton National Park as much as I did Yellowstone for just like driving around and like sightseeing and stuff yeah. like that. It, it was beautiful, don't get me wrong, and it's totally worth checking out. We're actually gonna go back, it was so good. Yeah. But I did enjoy Yellowstone more, but you cannot beat that stay at Jenny Lake in the yeah. Tetons. 100% It was stay. incredible. It was, oh, so it was incredible. The meals, the everything, service. the service, having your private, um, Bellman, Bellman just zipping yeah. around on the golf cart. If you need something, you just call them up. We had some mishaps and they just like helped us out straight away. It wasn't like an issue or anything. Yep. Like the guy breaking into our cabin for us, we locked ourselves out. Like yep. it was just really good. It was really good. And I just love how everything was included with like, like kind of like the cruise where it's like, yeah. be here at this time for the meal. There's bike rentals over there if you want to take them. Yeah. Oh, you want to do horseback riding? Go sign up. And you don't need to like ask anyone. You can just do you it. You just do it all. Yeah. yeah. It was it was really good. Jenny Lake was a very memorable stay for me. Crazy. Lots of romance. Stop romance. <laughs> yeah, Jenny Lake was good. <laughs> Leaving Jenny Lake, we headed to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Now Jackson Hole, Wyoming was a little weird for us because when we got in, we weren't really feeling it. I'm I not. Was super I'm not gonna lie. I excited to go, and then when we got there, I was a little disappointed. Actually. Yeah. First getting like, there, oh. it was so damn touristy, and 
I mean, to the max. And yeah. I, you know these places are going to be touristy, but this was like an overload. It of, was like vape shops and like cheap t-shirts. Yeah, the shops, stuff you see in Vegas like, kind of where you yeah. see like, you know, two young guys with like the lined up haircut running a vape shop and they got like the yeah. crazy music in the back. And I'm like, where we're are in, we? Like, like the we're in the woods. Forest. Like where, what's going on here? But yeah. it, after you get past all of the BS and all of the touristy stuff and you start to like find your spot where you want to sit and look at everything yeah. and have your drink and then like getting to the rodeo the rodeo the just rodeo the rodeo was basically just like okay we're in, we're in wyoming yeah. it was like all that bs went away and then the rodeo was fantastic but where we chose to stay the cloud veil just made it extra special because we got to take that Range Rover, yeah, Land like Rover, crazy car. and they they played it off like it was nothing. They're like, yeah, we'll have the town car take you out there. We're and thinking we're like, like a Crown Vic or yeah. something. And then this like Range Rover pulls out of the driveway, like our and own it's private. Got, like, the cloud veil on the side, and then it was just for us. I figured just like, for more us. people were coming. And then on the leaving the rodeo, the guy was waiting there for us without us even calling yeah, him, just because we said we're going to use the the taxi on the way back. So without even calling the hotel, he's just sitting there waiting for us. The cowboy bar was awesome. Yeah. Um, if I could recommend, go to the cowboy bar when something's going on. So yeah. after the rodeo, everyone does the after party at the cowboy Apparently bar. they do line dancing and yep, stuff. Yeah, line dancing. And then if there's live music on, the atmosphere in there is like, it's a, it's electric. It's yeah. really, really good. It really changed. It was so good. So Jackson Hole was a success, but it was a slow start. Wyoming oh was God, one of my favorite places to be. Jackson Hole specifically though, just was like yeah, a little, little little too touristy for me. We are gonna get on the road so we can just scope out a little bit of Salt Lake before we head to the airport. And then uh, first class, the yeah, return the rental, and then first class back to Hawaii, which should be a really nice relaxing time. Um, have some drinks. We'll have some drinks and we'll show you what we're getting to eat. Um, but yeah, trip was awesome, 10 out of 10. Yeah. All right, on the move. Can yeah. Can Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay, Thanks, all right, you too. Last leg of the journey. The Grand America <laughs> is the best. <laughs> I feel like out of place. He's like, any waters for you guys? I was yeah. like, for free. So ballet, he's like, waters, <laughs> doors, bag service. Oh, God. Good stuff. Oh, look. There it is. Amber lamps. Wow. Whoa. Oh, city and county building. Oh. It's not a church. Wow, that's even cooler. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> so we thought this was a church the whole time. <laughs> but that is the city and county building, which is the most amazing one I've ever seen. So what we thought was a church was the city hall, which was, I mean, that place was insane. But when I walked in, the, uh, the I don't know if it's a cop or security guard at the front. I think it was an actual cop. Uh, he said, hey, what are you doing? You know, I was like, oh, I just had to stop by. I'm flying out today and wanted to see it. He's like, oh, where you come from? I told him about the road trip. And he's like, man, he's like, I need to hear more about this road trip. He's like, how was Yellowstone? And I was like, oh, we saw Grizzly Bear. He's like, oh, <laughs> he like, he wanted me to just like stay in Bullshit One. But he's like, man, if you want, just take a tour of the building, like check it out. It's a, you know, it's a public space. So you, you know, feel free to film or take videos. So um, I got a few in there. I didn't get much because Kaylee's down waiting. Wow. So they were very friendly in here. They said, if I want to come and check it out, to take some photos, videos, help yourself. But it is just gorgeous. There's a lot of history here. I guess there's tunnels running. So that over there used to be a jail. And there's tunnels that run from the jail. It's not a jail anymore, but that run from there all the way under this. What a place. I've never seen a city hall like that. I life. thought I lost you forever. Yeah. Like I, there, there's a, we have a good one in New York and upstate New York. It's, it's, it's like a really cool building and it's old, but nothing like that, man. That was, that was something else. The doors to the bathrooms are like, I feel like they were like 30 or 40 feet high. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a cool spot, but, um, yeah, really awesome that he was just like so cool and, um, you a lot of hospitality over there. Yeah, those guys were really cool. Actually, everyone's been really nice here. And Utah? Yeah. yeah. So that's the courthouse, <clears throat> which is directly across the street from the city council building. Wouldn't mind going there to pay your fines, <laughs> would you? <laughs> All right, boys, put on that blanket. Dad, stop doing that. <laughs> we are not 
not going to Vegas. Maybe soon. All right, boys, heading to Reno. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> we actually are going that way. Great vehicle. Buick Enclave. Two, please. Yes, sir. Going up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what line are we going in? A fancy line. Yes, yeah, so there's only Delta Sky Club. That's it. Okay. So we normally go for the Amex. But Delta Sky Club today. On the move. It's so awkward when we get to the front, you just like push it. <laughs> oh no. I hate this. Make sure you're moving up. Up to the line. It's in my pocket. Let's get that. Kay Kaylee's like my mom when I travel. She's like, do you have this? Do you have Let's that? Three hours early. <laughs> All right, done with the hard part. Now let's go get some drinks. Ready? Shake Shack in the apple. Alright, off to the Sky Club. We'll see what that one's all about. Delta One? Yes. Delta One will give you complimentary access. You're Perfect. All set. Thank you. Oh, it's going off in here. It's like a club. <laughs> oh, no, I wish it was boarding club. I got it in my pocket. seated and then maybe grab a little grub and Kaylee's walking with the most full espresso martini <clears throat> yeah how's the espresso martini So this is basically vodka with a splash of oh, no. tomato juice in it. You can see the top. So I have a whole grain bagel, a vegetarian <laughs> sausage patty, cheddar cheese, ketchup, and an egg. What? Interesting. <laughs> How's the lounge though? It's a nice one. It is nice, just super busy. Yeah, Delta Sky in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. It's a beautiful lounge. Probably the best Delta I've ever seen. Nice. How's them plants? <laughs> Were you in Salt Lake or connecting? Uh, we did a two week road trip from Seattle to uh, Salt Lake. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm gonna let those bubbles go down so we get you to the tippy top. All right. That jalapeno is my favorite. Same. I'm gonna sneak this I thought you were getting food. I did. That is tomatoes. not fair. Tomatoes and celery. It's oh my god. It's going to be weird not flying Hawaiian, but I'm kind of liking this Delta. Winner. No way. I saw you flinch. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's why it's the winner. All right. A little bit of damage there. All right. How was it? Very good. Yeah. So enjoyable. So I've been to a couple of Delta Sky lounges, um, just with traveling with work and stuff like that. But this was the best one I've been to. Yeah, I'm always, I always say go for the uh, uh, Amex lounges, but this one, 
this one gives uh, Amex lounges a run for its money. So what's next? Uh, please go to the gate, get in our first class, and have another beverage. All right. <laughs> See you over there. Oh, wow. Shower in the front. Well, this is actually really nice. And they have a hair dryer. Oh man. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right, shall we? we need yeah, to we shall. All right, I'll see you. All right. Wraps. Wraps. Smoked this. turkey. Korean chicken. Some other chicken. And a tofu. Yep. Vegetable fried rice. Yep. Oh, hummus. Oh, look at these guys. I love them. Wow. And look what I just put on the cookies and rice Hold on, cookies. wait, what's at the end? Just noodles. Soups? Oh, what well, was the soup, by the way? Tomato and baked potato. Nice. <laughs> wow, look at them cookies. Oh, we really need to get to the day. <laughs> I'm so tempted to have a rice cookie. Oh, man, that's a good lunch service right there. So I guess it just depends on the time. Yeah. yeah. We need to come at this Yeah. Time. Beautiful. All right, on the move. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh. oh it's a comb on one side. It's perfect for your mustache. Oh, yeah. I like Before it. the flight. <laughs> we're like sad that the road trip's over, but like because we're high. flying first class, we're kind of on a high. Yeah, so. I wish we did this on the way there. Yeah. Because remember when we got to Seattle, we were like just like so tired. American Express points. I'm telling you, American Express points. Oh yeah, we paid nine dollars for this flight. Nine dollars for first class. Yeah. All right, that's us. We're one minute late. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so first things out when we sat down with the mimosas. Cheers. Cheers. It's kind of awkward because everybody else is kind of on their seats back there. <laughs> What's this here? So we have one boys and one girls. Okay. Cute. Noise cancelling headphone. Eye patch. Looks nice. Yeah. Bamboo toothbrush. Earplugs. Pen cream. Lip balm. A pen. And that's it. Full size pillow. Kind of blanket. Even the seatbelts in uh, first class are a little different. There's like this extra, there's like this extra bracket. I guess that's for like because you paid more for your life, maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to the I'm so flat. See how it comes out. Also, he said that there was a beef short rib and a chicken option. Yep. 